Hi, recently Power BI got a new visual, the Azure Map Visual. We're going to take a quick look at it and see when and where we might want to use it. Let's get started. First things first, the Azure Map Visual is in preview. So we have to go and switch it on in our preview features and it's just here. Once we've switched it on in preview, we can see a Azure Map Visual in the palette. Here it is. And it's a point map. It's very similar to one map that we had a long, for a long time, the Azure Map Visual. Notice that there are other map visuals as well. There's the shape map, the shape map, this is the shape map, the field map, and the ArcGIS map. Now let's have a look at the data that we're going to plot on our Azure Map Visual. Here it is. It comes from the UK. It's the number of COVID cases in lots of regions called MSOAs of England. There are about 7,000 MSOAs. Each of them have about 7,500 people. And what we've got is we've got the list, list of 7,000 here, uh, their name of the MSOA, the latitude and longitude so we can plot it, the number of cases in this particular week. And what I've done is I've split those MSOAs into five bands, five half of equal number of MSOAs. One, band one has the least number of cases, band five have the highest number. To understand one problem that the Azure map solves, we'll actually start off by plotting the Bing map, this data, and we'll put our latitude and our longitude. We'll organize by MSOA, and I'll take the latest cases and put it on the size field. And what we can see is that it's not plotting all the points. If we have a look at this information here, it tells us that. And if in fact, if we zoom in, we can see that large areas of the country are not covered. This is because the Bing map can plot up to about 3000 points. Uh, we've got 7000 MSOAs that we want to plot here. Now let's try the same with the Azure map visual. On a new page, I'll open our Azure map visual, I'll make it big and I'll add my latitude and longitude. For some reason it goes in the wrong field, but I'll move it to the longitude field. And then I'll add my latest cases on my size. And we can actually see that it is plotting all the points. It's actually over plotting because there's so many points there. But as we drill into a particular zoom into a particular area, we can see that all the points are being plotted, all 7,000. In fact, the Azure map visual can plot up to about 30,000 points according to the documentation. Now we're looking at England as a whole. And one thing we can do is to look and change our bubble settings. So maybe what we want to do is make those bubbles a bit bigger, at least the biggest ones change the maximum size. We can do that. Perhaps a better approach is not to use the number of latest cases, but in fact to use this banding that we did. Remember that we've banded all the MSOAs from one, the, the smallest cases, to five. So I'm going to use that on my size rather than my latest cases. And I'm going to adjust the size of my bubbles accordingly, make them somewhat smaller. And in fact, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to reduce the transparency, increase the transparency to 50%. This is not yet a helpful chart to help us to see where the high rates of COVID are. What we want to do is we want to add some color. And one way of doing that is going to take my latest cases band. I've also implemented it as a calculated column so I can stick it on a legend and it puts our colors for us. Those are not quite the right colors that we want. So I'm going to go into my data colors and I'm going to set them. I'm actually going to use uh, five colors from the Color Brewer, a marvelous web for site for choosing colors. I've chose a set of sequential colors in the orange red scheme. And these are the five colors here that I'm going to set. I've got the hex codes there. I'll take this first hex code and I'll put it into my chart for my, my first one. And I'll pause the screen while I do all the others. I've set all those bands with their color brewer colors and I've zoomed into Northern England where we may be able to see it a bit more clearly if we can zoom in, look at Huddersfield and Leeds. 
I prefer another way of setting the colours which is less manual and also easier to change. The first step of this is to create a measure which simply maps our colour bands 1 to 5 to those colour codes that we saw in Colour Brewer. Our second step is to remove that from the legend. Now we can go into our formatting pane, go to our data colours and set up our data colours dynamically. We'll click on this and we will choose field value and the field that it's going to be based on is the latest cases band colour measure. Once we've done this we can experiment with different backgrounds. I'm going to turn it into a night background and I'll zoom in. And we can also try different colour schemes. Here's a, a yellow, green, blue colour scheme and I've taken that and I've added that into a, a measure here and then come along and apply it. Here we are in a yellow, green, blue, applying it there and this is what we see. I'll leave it to you to decide that that's better or worse. The map visual allows us to pan and to zoom in. It also allows us to change the pitch. So we can have a look like that. Let's just zoom out a bit to see that. And it also allows us to rotate if we wanted to as well. Finally, we can switch our bubbles off and we can switch bar charts on so that we get a kind of 3D view. Let's zoom in. And let's zoom in even further into London. As a final example, I've zoomed in here into South London. I've set the, um, the map style to be road so I can see the geographical features so I can work out where I live. And I've set the map to show me um, cylinders rather than blocks. And there we are. So that's our first quick look at the Azure map visual. There are other useful features we've hardly scratched the surface. One useful thing is to do reference layers. So I could add the reference layer of the local authority or the regional boundaries onto this map. That would be the subject of another video however. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Azure map visual. We have other videos on mapping, about shape maps, the map box visual and the Bing map as well and they're on our YouTube channel. See you at our next video.